Good morning, friends. Welcome back to that. Eight, or no, it is lunchtime. Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to that 1870s homestead. My name's Rachel, and I was making myself lunch today, and I thought I need to get back into sharing videos of so we garden a large garden and preserve a lot of our own food that we eat, the majority of it, um, from a specific staples perspective, meat, veg. And I'm making myself lunch today that I thought might inspire you guys if you're growing cabbage on ways that you could consider preserving it. So these cabbage steaks have been in the freezer since 2022. It was the last time I gardened. It's my last package, I think, down there. And I'm going to throw up like an air fryer pizza cabbage recipe that I thought you guys might be interested in. And I loved, absolutely loved having frozen cabbage steaks. So I'll share some other ways um, I preserve my cabbage in today's video. Maybe give you guys inspiration if you're growing cabbage this year on ideas for either menu ideas or things that you can do to preserve your cabbage and keep it for extended life um, uses in the future. Uh, but really share with you this recipe too. So come on down here with me. We're using our air fryer today. I'm gonna get to slicing up this frozen cabbage. Okay, so for this recipe, I just have my four, they're very small cabbage steaks, you know, maybe, maybe a little smaller than a, the palm of my hand. I have salt, pepper, garlic powder, some banana peppers that we canned, pickled, and some pepperoni, and I'll grab some olive oil. Sorry about the noise of the air fryer, it's just preheating. I'm gonna open up this. I would recommend vacuum sealing it, especially if you're gonna store it for as long as we have. It just helps prevent from freezer burn. Okay. I don't bother thawing it or anything like that. Um, if I'm sauteing this in a pan, um, just as it's uh, thawing and cooking at the same time, I'll just keep tossing it to break it apart. So during the air fryer process, I'll probably open the basket and give it a couple shakes. And I did not blanch or anything this cabbage. I simply cleaned it, sliced it, and froze it. Ugh. Oh, it's a pink. Okay. And you could totally make this recipe fresh, right? You got cabbage coming in out of the garden or from the farmer's market. You can totally make it fresh. All right, so we're just waiting for our air fryer to finish heating up and then we'll throw this together and it should come together 10, 15 minutes. While that's preheating, let me tell you something about other ways. I have really two primary ways I like to preserve my cabbage. Pickled, so I just run it through a food processor to grate it. And is that what you call it, a food processor? I have the KitchenAid attachment piece and the frozen cabbage steaks, my two primary ways. Now, uh, recipe ideas. So from the pickled cabbage, what I do is I just drain that and then I make up my like coleslaw dressing and you have shelf ready coleslaw super fast. Um, I love that not just for a side dish like coleslaw but I love like um, seafood tacos so whether it's shrimp tacos fish tacos to serve that as a slaw on top maybe you're one of um, the fans of like pulled pork with a slaw on top of your sandwich um, it's great for that so <clears throat> but also with the canned pickled coleslaw, I will drain it and use it in stir fries, um, Asian inspired dishes. I love it like that. The cabbage steaks, we've done cabbage casserole, where I do very similar to this process, just slice it, toss it with all the ingredients to make a cabbage casserole. I'll also use the cabbage steaks to stir fry as well if needed, throw them in soups, 
we're making today's recipe. I've done just baked cabbage steaks straight from the frozen cabbage. Um, it does well. Not as great as fresh cabbage steaks like cooked on the grill or pan roasted in the oven and everything. It's just so good. But um, they do hold their texture extremely well, both pickled and frozen. So I am a huge fan of cabbage. I think it's good for my gut health. And I am now, it's a great carb friendly vegetable if you're watching your carbs. So that's what we're making today. And it's gonna be a super filling meal. Now other things um, I could add to this would be like sliced onions would be great in it. Um, but I'm just keeping it basic with what I already have like opened in the fridge. I don't, I'll check and see if I have like half an onion left or anything like that. But I wouldn't need a whole onion just for me. So when this is done preheating, I will bring you guys back and uh, we'll cook it up. Okay, so to the basket, we're going to toss in our diced cabbage. I'll see if I can break them up. I doubt I can though. I'll just put them in there for however they came out frozen. Okay, I'm gonna drizzle it with some olive oil. And then we're gonna throw on some of our peppers. Let's go in with some garlic powder, some pepper, and some salt. And then we're gonna throw in some pepperoni. You could do ham, you could do shrimp, you could do chicken, bacon, whatever you're desire is. I'm feeling kind of pizza-y today. And we're going to pop this in the air fryer at 400 for about 10 minutes. I'll check it probably after five and see if I can shake it up some. And I'll just cook it till it's my desired texture and show you what that's going to be when we're at that point. Okay, I think I'm going to call it good. <clears throat> look at there. Doesn't that look yummy? Let me put it in my bowl. <clears throat> so yummy. And I just uh, grated up some pepper jack cheese and pulled out some pizza sauce to put in there. Drizzle the last bit of olive oil in it. And then we'll put some of our pizza sauce on it. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Anyway, so I love, love, love cabbage. And I think it's absolutely divine and a wonderful alternative to so many things. And just, I think, an unsung hero <laughs> in preserving food. I don't think people give it quite enough credit like they used to in the old days. I think back in the Depression era and pre pre those generations uh, probably lived a lot off cabbage because a little goes a long way and you can make a lot out of one head of cabbage. So I am going to enjoy this absolutely delicious cabbage pizza bowl and I hope that it inspires you. If you are growing cabbage, other ways that you can think about preserving it and using it in your own home. And I hope to bring more of these to you in the future as I'm eating through kind of the last little bits of stock that I have put up so I make room in the freezer for this year's harvest, um, share with you ideas on other alternatives and things that you can make at home. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for coming with me. You wouldn't even know you're not eating pizza. It's that good. I wanted to tell you too that if you don't have an air fryer, just pop this in your oven, maybe 
I would go up a little bit to like 450 and bake it till it's tender and has that little crunch on the edges that you want. 30 minutes maybe in a um, wonderful way. See you guys.